Uh, so today I'll be talking about Kid Bash and iClone and Blender. So many of you know about the new release of Cargo by Kid Bash uh, that you can uh, transfer your models just one click to any of your desired software like Cinema 4D, Unreal Engine, Blender and etc. So what I'm going to do today is uh, get a kit from kit bash cargo inside uh, iclone with a little bit of help from blender so basically blender will be your bridge that will transfer all the models and textures into iclone so without further ado let's begin so uh since i don't have any subscription i will be using the um the free access you get a tons of uh, models over here any one that you desired uh, if you have seen uh, my recent uh, cinematic you might have seen this model oxygen station that i've used inside iclone so for the sake of uh, variations i might uh, go with this uh, samurai guild so it might bring something different uh, or um, general store what, whatever there is so yeah all right so before that um first of all you need to open a account into kit bash 3d website if you haven't already after that uh, once you're done you will going to download the cargo and just input your um account id and your password after that once you are done uh installing cargo uh you will get a prompt of adding your desired 3d software i'm using blender right now but you need to add something else you will get other options like unreal cinema 4d maya 3ds max since maya 3ds max is not in installed inside my um, workstation uh only the three of them are installed so that is why it's showing uh it's visible and yeah, those are not so don't panic if you don't see two of those if you have installed my and 3ds max and if it's not detected i think something is wrong with your installation and i would suggest that you need to reinstall this softwares which are grayed out that has been already into your system so uh, i'm not gonna go in details how you install your uh, your plugins inside blender uh, I'm sure that you have a little bit of idea how to use Blender. So once you are done with it, you might see something like this, um, Kit Bash Cargo Pipeline. If it's done, if it's ticked, just do it this. Save preference. Once you are done, press N and you will see this. First of all, it will be deactivated like this. After that, just click here it will be activated so done with it uh we go to our asset um let's see what do we have here fuel station okay we can try the fuel station that might be an interesting uh choice of model i'll be going 2k png i'm not going to go something like 8k ridiculous uh, i don't need to for this tutorial so i'm just gonna go 2k png png is much better than uh, jpeg it has a little bit of lossless so yeah these are the uh, details how many polys you have in this model and the scale is uh, this and you have 64 materials we will get down to it later on so once you're done uh, picking up your model you just hit download it will download your asset it will take a while depends on your um, internet speed i will gonna skip this part for the sake of the tutorial and saving the time okay so once it's downloaded you will see the icon changes into import so you just click on import and wait for it i'm going to switch to blender right now that model going to be imported inside blender through the kit bash cargo uh, bridge 
don't panic if you see like this everything is frozen and everything because it's processing uh on background so just give it some time since it's pretty heavy as you can see uh, regarding the polys and the materials and the 2k uh, uh textures so yeah i mean there you go <laughs> it didn't took that long so but okay um let's check it out how it is i'm going to switch to some uh yeah there it is give it some time it's loading the textures it's going to be a bit laggy and you will get something like this often if you don't have a good gpu so yeah there you go um let me ch change the light a bit let me change it to show you how does it looks like i'm going to change into sun it's too much it's 20 uh yeah there you go as you can see you can see all the details over here of this model uh, there is a neon light over here uh let me see if Loom screen space, yeah. So, yeah, I think this one shines if I'm not wrong. Let me get it uh, to point five. Yeah, this one shines. So, yeah, anyways, uh, once it's done, um, you're going to export this. As an FBX, I'm going to show you how. First of all, pick everything up, excluding the light. You don't need the light. After that, uh, you go to your external data, pack resources, it's packaging, pack 224 files. After that, once you're done, go to export and go fbx i'll be posting here uh you need to remember it is auto instead of that go to copy and click that this way you will be exporting all of your textures embedded so that you don't have any missing textures after that just click export and it will be exported yeah let's go back to iClone import it's a big one so just remember it will take a while based on your system your ram and your vram uh i'm going to pick uh yes just for the uh, i can have control over my specific models that i want to keep or i want to remove if somehow anyhow my uh, scene gets heavier and I'm unable to animate or render so we just wait since we have 64 uh, pieces of model in this kit bash item okay uh, so the model has been imported successfully as you can see uh, my scene is getting a bit laggy uh, because it's very uh, heavy model already it's, it's taking my five gigabytes of vram so yeah as you can see um you have your base and bump and you might be wondering what happened to roughness or our metallic so don't panic don't worry uh once you have done exporting from blender there's going to be a, a a folder with all the textures you have been exported from blender uh, from blender to um, uh, to fbx 
so whatever textures are missing you just have to put it manually since you're getting the base and bump without any problem so like opacity or your roughness has been missing so metallic as well so you just have to put it manually i know it's it's a bit of a mess but i don't know why um, i cloned imports every other textures beside base color and bump anyway so i hope this tutorial helps to some of you those who are struggling with um, quality model as i've seen um, it's not enough in the marketplace especially in Reolution. or if you get models from Reolution, it's heavily expensive uh, so i hope it helps uh, feel free to let me know if you have any other um, recommendations or requests that you want me to cover it up for you so until then happy kid bashing